Okay, guys. Um, this is the box of pennies that I did show in my last video with the W's, but I didn't end up showing it because I wanted the video to be focused on the box of quarters. Okay. Opening it up, and it is circulated. Sweet, guys. Okay, guys, roll three. And we have our first weedy right here. It's kind of a dark one. Let's see what date it is. 1953 D or no, it's an S. 1953 S. And I did see a 1959 right here. So that's cool. And I did see another one that looked like a wheat penny, but it's not. Alright guys, roll six. Second wheat penny. It's a 1940D, nice. Okay, roll 21, we got our third wheat penny. Right here, Let's see what the date is. 1944. Alright guys, roll 44. Super long drought. Got another wheat penny. Let's see what it is. 1952 Philadelphia, I believe. Yep. Alright guys, so we finished that box of pennies. Nothing too exciting, just four wheat pennies. 52 Philadelphia, 44, 40 Denver, and a 53 S. Um, we got an average of seven coppers a roll, which what is about 350 and then come some other finds. I found some 2009 Philadelphia's, some toned ones, some corroded ones, some gold ones, um, painted ones, a can one Canadian, um, let's see, and then there's some crazy toned copper pennies that I found. I don't know if the camera will show this, but this one has a purple. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that tone though. That purple toning is amazing. And then it has some on the back too, I believe, if I can get the right angle. Yeah, there we go. Anyways, I just think that's the coolest tone I have ever found on a penny. Anyways, uh, I might tag this video along with another hunt. There's not much to show, but anyways. Alright guys, so I was going through my collection, and I realized that I set aside this coin right here, Homestead, and I don't get very many Philadelphias, and that's why I don't check for a lot of errors, and I'm not very familiar for them, with them. Most of the errors are Philadelphia. Anyways... Let me know if this is an error. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm not positive. It's a Homestead 2015P, and it's got something up there on the roof, some extra metal. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you know. Hey guys, uh, I didn't film an introduction before I opened these, but the box of quarters I got is circulated and the box of pennies is circulated as well. Anyways, we're gonna start off with this box of quarters. All right guys, first roll, and believe it or not, I actually got my first one I've ever gotten one of these, the Kansas and God We Russ. It's not that faint, but it's the first one I've ever gotten that's faint enough that if you get the right angle, it looks like in God We Russ. That is sweet, guys. I never thought I'd find one, but I finally did. So that is an awesome first find for me. Anyways, I'll keep you tuned uh, for my next find. Alright, guys, roll 20. And I can't believe it. I just got my first Kansas and God We Rust. <clears throat> this one's not as good. But look at that. It's another one. 
and the T is slightly faded and in the right with the right angle kind of disappears let's see if I can get a better one there we go anyways this one might not be as valuable but I searched it up and in circulated condition with the T visible but less visible it's worth uh, about 15 to 30 dollars so that is, is an amazing find guys so I'm really happy that I got a second one in the same box on roll 20 guys last freaking roll I was not expecting this my first 2020 coin of any denomination now guys if you haven't heard every 2020 coin you find you should keep because the mints are closed right now which means that the 2020 coins might end up being lower mintages which makes them more valuable special especially in condition like this so that's kind of funny actually because bats are upside down but this is this is upside down anyways I really love this coin that is a nice coin guys <laughs> and I think I did check if it's a W and it's not and I think the W's have some mark right there or something so that'll be cool when I find one of those if I do anyways I just want to check and make sure there's not another one of those that is so weird guys that there was one of those in the last roll of the box that's insane I'm so happy to put this in my collection and it is my first 2020 coin let's go alright guys just cracked open the first roll and I got my first 2020 penny right there let's see if we can get any more for the rest of the box guys I didn't see any 2020 enders but we just got our second 2020 so I wonder how many we're gonna get in this box alright guys we're on roll 11 got our first wheat penny it's a 1956D I don't think it's gonna be a very good box because it looks like the other penny box I had and I haven't gotten any other 2020 since the first roll so we'll see roll 10 and we got our first Canadian right here 1979 oh not not roll 10 guys sorry roll 12 alright guys roll 15 finally got another 2020 right next to a 2009 okay roll 17 got our fourth 2020 alright guys same roll as that 2020 and we got a 1953d wheat penny okay roll 20 and we got our fifth 2020 okay apparently roll 26 is packed this is the third one of the roll which is number eight the fourth one of the roll which is number nine and the fifth one of the roll which is number ten and let's see if that was it yep okay guys i'm gonna stop filming these because we're getting a lot this is like number 11 or something okay roll 29 we got our third wheat penny Looks kind of nice. It's a 1957D. Roll 32. And we got a 1948 Philadelphia Wheat Penny. Okay guys, roll 40. And I think I know what this is. I saw Rapper Stacker just find it the other day. I believe it's the uncirculated mint sets what a philadelphia are you kidding me i would think it would have been a denver since i'm so close to denver but wow that is fun guys that's the first one of these i've ever found that is an awesome find awesome find guys rapper stackers was in a lot nicer of condition but i'm still happy to find it anyways Let's get on to the hunt. Alright guys, roll 
43. We got a 51D Wheat Penny. Alright guys, very next roll. Roll 44. And very coincidentally, that is a 1944D for our fifth Wheat Penny. Alright guys, roll 47. And I honestly was not expecting this. We're making a last minute run and I just got this six wheat penny. It's kind of crusty, but it's a 50D. Alright guys, here's the wrap up for the box of pennies. Not bad, we got 350 coppers. We got 20 20 20s, which is pretty good because I think Rob averages like four or five uh, 2020s per box. Um, we got actually got seven Wheaties. I think I lost track some somewhere in there. And there's all the 2009s I got. We got this uh, U.S. Treasury uh, Mint Philadelphia coin, which is really cool. It's the first one I found in circulation. And we got a glittered one. Uh, one with a hole in it, a Canadian, and a really nice 1972S. Got a small stack of nice 2017Ps. Um, and then right here, these are my toned coppers. The camera never really shows the toned stuff very well. And then the rest here. This 2019 is weird because that scratch is hard to show on camera but it's like a red scratch so it's kind of weird and those are all the rest of the toned ones anyways that was a really good box of pennies to be honest i thought we were only going to end up with like two wheat pennies for a second and then all of a sudden we ended up with a good amount of copper a good amount of 2020s and a good amount of wheaties anyways that was the funnest box i've done in a long time